at Robert Tellis's parole hearing, he's not only going to have his current wife, he's going to have his ex-wife. Now, obviously, we're talking 30 years from now, right? We don't know if they're going to be alive. If they are, we don't know if they're going to be married. But based on the fact that even his ex-wife sh showed up to the victim impact statement in favor of Robert Tellis, I think that even if his current wife is married, I think her, his ex-wife, his adult children from both women, I think that they'll all show up at the parole hearing. That will obviously help Robert Tellis. But they're going to be in his ear in the next 28 years begging him to take a turn and say that I did it. It's going to be very awkward because he's really put his foot in his mouth really deeply. Like he really opened up that mouth and he put that foot down there very deeply. Um, I'm struck by the fact that he never gave alibi notice in his case. I'm struck by the fact that, hey, he had an explanation as to why his wife texted him perfectly plausible explanation but why didn't she just testify and say yeah i saw him at the house by the way if his wife had showed up at the house and said i saw him there he was there all day he was there with me the whole entire day he would have been acquitted she didn't do that but she showed up at the victim impact statement and she cried and i really wanted this whole thing is so bizarre there the story's not done it's so bizarre i'm so puzzled by it maybe i'm looking at it from my own bias because i'm a civil attorney and i ask myself how how happy would i be if I had what he had as a civil attorney, healthy kids, former public administrator in Clark County. I mean, my God, the, the Greek tragedy nature of this stuns me. So I kind of went off the rails there, Ted. I'm sorry, man. I'm just, I'm really passionate <laughs> about this case, but it is what it is, man.